Um, let's go further uh, with one of the cornerstones in today's world to fight financial crime, data sharing. Jan Stimmerman is chairman of the board at Credit Information Bureau with more than 25 years of experience in business consulting, finance and change management will tell us about financial crime data sharing. Please, Janis, guide us through the best practices all around the world. Thank you, Lama. So I see the presentation here. I, right. So I was um, asked to talk about two topics, really. One is uh, my uh, specialty, which is data sharing because this is what credit bureaus do. The second is financial crime. Very exciting. So data sharing in financial crime, or preventing it. The idea itself is not new. Financial crime data sharing has been around for years. There are several notable examples if we look in Europe. For example, UK, uh, financial crime data sharing has been taking place for more than 30 years by a privately run entity called Cyphers. In Germany, same database, different provider called Fraud Pool, run by Schufa. Nordics, just a couple of years ago, six Nordic banks have established a KYC utility for the Nordics to fight against money laundering. Now, why do they do it? I mean, the benefits are pretty straightforward. First, the fraud is picking up. It's on the rise. Internet is helping a bit, and in 2020, for example, Cyphers members recorded more than 300,000 financial fraud instances, which is one for every two minutes. I mean, the second benefit of data sharing is the inefficient models currently used by financial sector. So rather than sharing data throughout the central hub, we have multiple points of entry where data have to be processed individually. Having a central hub is far more efficient. Now, what is the key to successful data sharing. Why are the uh, attempts that have failed and what are the uh, criteria that make these instances I've talked about succeed? When we look at the history of Cyphers, there is one interesting fact. Cyphers was founded by seven leading retail credit providers. So we have commitment from the financial sector right from the start. If we look at Shufa, Shufa shareholders, financial sector companies, 76 of them are actively committed in sharing fraud data through fraud pool. If we look at the Nordic KYC utility. One of the first things that uh, come in mind is the past attempts to create a similar enterprise have failed because of lack of bank commitment to the enterprise. So, the lesson. Stop regarding financial crime as a competitive issue. This is not something that you compete with. Data privacy and fraud prevention 
are not uh, opposing forces. And finally, build trust. Because only entities who trust each other can share data. Thank you. Thank you very much, Janis, for uh, driving us all around the world and learning uh, best lessons.